currently there is some kind of protest going on outside of Old Trafford actually in Man United and basically it's a protest um, against the ownership um, of Manchester United um, in light of the recent Super League stuff and now obviously this protest at its core is actually like it's it's great because it is literally the fans coming back and saying now nah, like we're fed up like because if you don't know in short basically last week they announced there's going to be this super league involving um a few clubs through no there's no real reason for how they managed to get there apart from the fact they have loads of money all it was going to do was pay them loads more money and it was going to be very exclusive and obviously everyone else was like literally what so then um they are actually told that if they go ahead with it their players won't be able to compete in any other form of competition so obviously there was a massive uproar about it um and i think all english teams are now pulled out of it um, yeah. But the players are still really, um, so not players, the fans are still really upset about the fact that this happened in the first place. So are protesting against basically all the owners of these um, teams. So like, this is like great. Cause I was literally saying to Halima in the break it is literally, they, they might not realize it, but they're actually basically protesting against like the idea of mm-hmm. capitalism mm-hmm. and like <laughs> um, the idea of one person like o- yeah. owning everything. So I think the people at the top, mm-hmm. but then I was also thinking, um, can they, you imagine if they actually put that unity and force towards um, the actual the actual cause that that they are fighting for at the root of it, and also other things such as obviously racism. And I think yeah. one football player, I've forgotten his name, actually pointed this out. He was like, "It's great how many people have like showed up and everything, but it would also be great if they could show this kind of um, determination yeah. and support towards." Um, other important causes and it's just it's crazy it must be such a kick in the teeth like imagine because i mean i i don't particularly follow football but like all my family do a lot of my friends do and like obviously this this country you just can't escape football culture Mm -hmm. so i have some idea of like how for example black players are treated um and obviously like i don't need to say it's horrendous and imagine like it must be such a kick in the teeth being a black player and knowing that when you're like abused to, to that extent and and mm-hmm. very little kind of consequence or, or uproar is made about that and now all of us and then you see something like this which obviously like the cause is great and people should be doing this but like you see that people can do it right mm. and they choose not to for example with issues of racism in football purely because they don't want to um yeah. and actually yeah. like i saw this tweet I saw this tweet and it was it said something along the lines of the way that people who don't understand football are looking at this super league issue which is like they don't really know what's going on something fundamentally wrong and bad is going on but people who don't follow football don't really know is the same way that like for example white people um people who are not affected by racism look at issues of racism where they're like okay yeah something bad is going on but they can just choose to turn a blind eye Mm -hmm. right like there are definitely parallels in the way that um that that it's it's coming to a head and the way that things are playing out yeah like literally I was thinking about this um, before coming in today mm. and I realised that if anyone ever comes to me and tries to challenge like because there's a, there's quite a lot of people out there who will kind of if you raise anything to do with, with racism you'll say yeah but like and people of colour aren't the only people that are badly treated in the UK and there's obviously obviously white working class people do exist yeah. but I think if anyone ever tries to kind of like raise like that argument i'm just gonna give them this because a lot of these football fans Mm -hmm. ultimately are um Mm -hmm. like white working class Mm -hmm. people and they'll happily up in arms over Mm -hmm. football Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yet when it comes to other stuff which is arguably more important like i'm gonna yeah honestly i mean yeah it is like Like, i'm sorry but someone's someone's human dignity is more important than a a, than a football like there's no argument there (laughs) yeah but um like it's just ridiculous that they won't do that like, and you know what it is though like and and this is the marxist in me where obviously the basis of marxism is the is a is a global class struggle right and um 
the, the the pragmatism of the Marxist struggle is that the or the 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 global proletariat, so like the the entire global working class, is supposed to kind of like unite together for the revolution, right? And there's always been a hindrance in this country because of the way that class is stratified, um, and the way that the white working class who who like historically are so mistreated by the government, particularly you know like the Tories, they are like austerity measures, they are so hard hit by them but they will still turn around and vote for the tories like it's so mental because it's always it for, for people of color in this in in this country um who look at marxism as the answer to like racism and and, and things like that we always feel very frustrated that we cannot build like um co- we can't do coalition building with like white working class people because of like racism right and then you see that they have the power to mobilize like this you know when they do care about something mm. and it's just like you kind of like sat there pulling your hair out because it's like if you if you man mobilize that like that to like for an actual like Marxist agenda or a socialist agenda, we would not be where we are right now. Just imagine, just imagine. Look. Guys, come on, man! <sighs> come on, man! I mean, it was also interesting to see how quickly um, Boris Johnson was to jump on and like, mm-hmm. because oh, this this is ridiculous! Yeah. Like, what's going on? Like, mm. uh, any thoughts on the whole thing, Simran? I think, you know, obviously it is sad, the whole Super League thing, that it even became, like, came into fruition at all. Because, obviously, um, people don't want to see the big teams play once a week. The whole glory of the whole thing is that you see it, like, once or twice a year in your big, like, um, cup leagues and stuff. So I do understand why people are up in arms about it, because it is frustrating, I think, to see the commercialisation of the sport when it is supposed to be a grassroots level thing, a very like homegrown UK thing that we have here. So to see them go through with it and the clubs that originally did say, like, agree to it, obviously it is upsetting and I understand why people are upset. But then when you do parallel it with the real issues that exist in football and sport culture in this country, mm-hmm. you can't make the comparison because mm-hmm. like you said Halima like the human dignity versus mm-hmm. you know the privatization of a league like mm-hmm. it's okay like I don't really mm-hmm. I don't see the comparison there if people are going to be up in arms about one you need to be equally up in arms or more up in arms about the one that is worse mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. It's, just the, it's the turning the blind eye yeah, but it just to goes like, to show like real issue. Yeah, and, and it just goes to show the extent of like racial privilege in this country, right? That that, mm-hmm. that you can you, you are so outraged at like Simran just said, like the privatization of a football league and yet when black players are being abused, like mm-hmm. monkey chants having bananas like, like that called like yeah, racial slurs on yeah, the pitch. Yeah. Then it's so easy to, to turn a blind eye, you mm-hmm. know? Like it's a really interesting comment on racial relations in this country, to be honest with you. And once again, like it just it, institutional racism does not exist you know? apparently 